for those that were expecting a reaction today, I'm sorry. Reactions resume tomorrow. But here today, I have to get something off my chest that has been on my chest since I started YouTube three years ago. Since my channel has begun, my popularity increases at a rapid rate. I started with K-pop reactions. I got to 50,000 subscribers within a month. Two months, I was at 100,000. Stop doing K-pop reactions because I was canceled. <laughs> I said some stupid shit about BTS and the K-pop community canceled me and I lost over like 20, 30,000 subscribers. I was fine with that. But I was going through a tough time then. I was new to being popular. I was never popular. So seeing all of these people love me, subscribe to me, comment on my videos and watch my videos on a daily basis, it was all new to me. And to lose all of that so fast and to be attacked by a huge group of people, it hit me hard to the point where I was suicidal. Not one YouTuber reached out to me. Not one. Instead, they would join the cancel culture. They would join the people canceling me. And they say, yeah, man, that guy makes fake reaction videos. Yeah, that guy shouldn't have said that. Um, report him or whatever. Some shit like that. They would never show support my way. Whatever. Fuck y'all. I'm never going to do a reaction video for K-pop ever again. So eat my ass. If that's how the community is going to treat me, if that's how my fellow peers are going to treat me, y'all don't deserve me. After that, I get into Western music reactions. I do Taylor Swift. I do Ariana Grande. I do One Direction. What happens? The One Direction fans cancel me because I mention that Harry Styles and, and Lewis Tomlinson aren't really a couple. They're just best friends. And I don't fuck with this whole shipping thing. I got canceled for that. And guess what? Not one YouTuber reached out to me to help me, even though I was having a nervous mental breakdown on on Twitter again, on YouTube again, because I was being canceled and I was losing 30 to 40,000 subscribers per, per day. And let me make this clear. Nobody's obligated to reach out to someone at all, but you would expect people to reach out to you when you reached out to them, even when they weren't going through shit. Because I guarantee you, your favorite content creator that's a reaction channel, I've reached out to them and I've showed my love and respect to them. I said, Keep doing your thing. Even if you have a thousand subscribers, keep working at it. I'm a fan of yours. I never received that. Never. Not once. Instead, I get name dropped on Twitter or YouTube. Sometimes without even saying my name, but I know they're talking about me. And they say I make fake reaction videos and stuff. Even though what I do doesn't harm anybody. I make people laugh. I make people smile. Who the fuck cares if I did fake react to things? Who the fuck cares? I don't. I don't make fake reactions. Even if I did, who the fuck cares? I make people smile. I make people laugh. Isn't that what life is all about? And these other content creators, no, 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 no. That's just jealousy. That's just hatred. Because no matter what subject I tackle, K-pop, Western music, anime, I always excel. Sometimes way more than their channels. And they will not show support strictly because they're jealous. So here we are, anime, anime reactions. I haven't been canceled yet. I, though I saw a lot of uh, hate because people thought I've watched anime before because in my past videos you see a One Piece, not One Piece, a Hunter Hunter poster in the background, or I've talked about watching Demon Slayer before. Even though I've mentioned, I only said that stuff to impress a girl. So I was wrong for that, for lying in the first place, but still. I, I don't fake my reactions at all. I see my name dropped by a lot of YouTubers, whether it's on social media or subliminally on YouTube. They just don't, they don't like me because I fake my reactions, supposedly. I'm rising at a extremely fast rate. My views have been, never been this good on my channel. I'm getting over 100,000 views per video and I love what I'm doing. And I'm just waiting for the day that I get canceled in this community and I have another breakdown, but this time it might be my last breakdown. And now one person reaches out to me. I can't wait for that day. This rant isn't just for me to get things off my chest for my selfish reasons, selfless reason, reasons. I want this to be a little, a little informational type of video for you watching this video right now. Show love to people. It's not that hard. A simple message to someone saying, you're great. You're great at what you do. Keep going. Or a little offer of friendship. It goes a long way. I get comments 
messages, DMs, tweets, all day, every single day. And I love every single one of you that shows love to me. Even if you hate me and you took your time to comment, whatever. I love and respect every single one of you and your comments make this world a better place because you're putting that positivity into the world. You're spreading that, that goodwill and that's how the world should be. That's what you should be doing. Jealousy is the ugliest trait. And if you're gonna be jealous of someone just because they're doing something better than you or more eyes are on that person than you, you, you gotta grow up. <laughs> you're not living the right way. I support people whether they have one subscriber or a million subscribers, but I'm never gonna collaborate with another YouTuber unless I'm a really good friend of theirs and unless I see that they're a good person because I've contacted a lot of YouTubers. Like I said, I've contacted a lot. Why I do what I do is because I make you happy. It's because of those messages that I get from people saying that I made them laugh, I made them smile. That is why I do what I do. The negative comments, the negative feedback, the hatred, I'm fine with. That's part of the job. That's part of popularity. I've never been popular in my life. Am I popular now compared to Justin Bieber? No, I'm nothing. I'm a speck. <laughs> but why I do what I do is for you. I get these love messages and I see comments, people saying they've laughed or I made their day. That's why I do what I do and I love you guys so much. That's why I do what I do. And I appreciate every single one of you. Whether you hate, love me, whatever. I love every single one of you. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this journey, making my job so enjoyable, making my life so enjoyable, making me want to live and making me want to just keep moving in life, keep accomplishing things, keep trying to up myself and become a better person. It's because of you. To my peers, to other reaction channels, to channels in general, I just don't fuck with them. I don't. Not one person's ever reached out to me that does what I do. Never expect me to collaborate with a YouTuber unless I really like them and I see them as a good person because I just don't fuck with this. It's like why you see some artists rapping like J. Cole. You see him dropping projects without any features. I don't blame him. When you're in a field, there's so much jealousy from the other side and sometimes it's hidden. Sometimes you'll never hear them say it or see it. But you know it. You know it. Whether I get canceled eventually or not because I have a big mouth, it's whatever. I'm just going to keep doing me because I'm used to not being supported. My whole life I went unsupported. I've been bullied. I've been made fun of my entire life. I got to where I am because of you. Not because of these other YouTubers. Not because of these other channels. And I did this all alone. I don't have anybody by my side. I don't have anyone cheering me on that I'm personally good friends with. Nobody. I got to where I am strictly by myself. And I don't mean that in a way like, oh, I don't need you guys. I'm talking about like support around me. I did this all by myself. Nobody does my thumbnails. My exaggerated thumbnails and my stupid face in the thumbnail. Nobody does it. I do that. Editing videos. I do that. Posting the videos. I do that. Social media. It's me. I don't have a manager. I don't have coworkers. It's all me and it'll forever be all me. Whatever you do in life, do it for yourself, but also for the people that love you. Don't do it for anybody else. The second you start doing things just to be better than someone, or you do it for the hate, you do it for your peers that don't even respect you, that's when you're living the wrong way and that's when you're never gonna be happy. Do it for those that love you, do it for yourself, love yourself. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I love you guys so much, forever eternally grateful for every single one of you that show love and respect to me that always reach out with some kindness your your good comments even if you're just recommending something telling me to react to one piece i read every comment and i'm so grateful for it even if i don't respond i read everything and i know that's not the healthiest way to live on youtube but i read every single comment and i love you guys so much but yeah i'll see you all in tomorrow's video